Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the vlog. Hello, my name is Benny Boy. Um, so today, um, I think I think Lionhead is still the plan. I mean, we'll see by the title and thumbnail. Um, but I need to quickly pop the TK Maxx on Newport Road. Um, I need I need a new pair of daps, but I need something just cheap just to see me through um because obviously as of this recording yesterday uh, as of rec this recording yesterday we all met up the spud boys we had a little barbecue and we were playing some football and some rounders and um i didn't realize i had like a little hole in my trainer at the time and it's huge now and i need to change my pair of trainers i've got i've got like three pairs of trainers but uh i need to get a nice black pair so um We'll see what we got in TK Maxx and then on to Lan Eden, have a wander around, see what's going on around there. I used to live around there myself, so it'd be cool to see how much has changed since. So um, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Obviously, this is new to me now on my own, out and about. I'm not with Hell and the kids, I'm not with Mike, you know, I'm out on my own walking around a place that I sort of I, I want to say grew up in. I was only there for like a couple of years, but right, I'll see you guys at TK Maxx. Da 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 ignore the uh, the st do you know what? I just realised my windscreen's stinking, um, and I've got stuff in the back. I just keep forgetting to fill up my sprayer. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pop in. I'll see what they got for me, um, and then we'll be on our way to London. Hi, you mate. Right. Um, now I know what you're thinking. I don't want like a box for trainers. Uh, it's because it's not. <laughs> I didn't buy any trainers. Um, they had none there. They had like one or two in my size, and they were just like sandals and shit. But uh, nice little white hat, you know? Why not? Um, bought myself some some socks um, and some trainer socks. Obviously, the weather. Um, I, I don't have white socks for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I bought a nice champion T-shirt. I bought a pair of shorts because I don't really have many shorts to fit me anymore. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's got a nice little cool robot on it. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, it's like 60 odd quid for all that. It's pretty good, I think. 60 quid for basically, well, when I look at it now, it's basically an outfit. Um, so, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna wear it today, I think. Yeah, right, I'm gonna go back to the house. Quick change act, and then we'll be on our way to Lan Eden. So I'll see you guys in literally a second. Bow, what's going on? He's all in white. Hey, hey. that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like the hat, I think this looks pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, um, let's go to Lan Eden and have a wander around, see what's going on. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. All right, as you can see, I'm in Lan Eden. So where I am right now, um, so over these trees here is Pentwin. So I'm gonna start around by here because um, I used to have to walk this way to get to school many years ago. Um, which if I walk the way I'm going now, this is the way I go. So you can see there's like a, you can see how there's like a path kind of already walked in. So this is like, like the little shortcut because obviously the path is over there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk down to the thing where like the little tunnel is for um you remember that video um oh god it was a while ago now it was about the the path from lamb Rumney to penn twin and how run down it was uh, my uncle paul actually came with me um he because he, he was um sort of lead charge with the community with it um to try and get some change done so obviously you knew about the, the channel and you guys and we took a walk down and we got to this like down the bottom here and then that, that was it so I suppose it's sort of a continuation from that. So, I mean, I'm on the path now, look. And we're going to go down, and then we're going to wrap round towards like the edge of Pentwin Land Eden, and then we're going to walk back in towards like the Malford area, because um, that's where I, I, I lived for a few years too. Um, those who know me personally, I've lived, I've lived everywhere. Um, Lam Rumney, multiple streets in Lam Rumney. Um, I lived in, my mum still lives in Pentwin right now, um, but I used to live there as well. Two houses in, well, two, same street, two different houses in Pentwin. Lived in Lan Eden. Um, I also sort of lived at the top of Lan Rumney. Um, top, uh, where like the one shop used to, where they, I think that still is, but like, behind there, a couple of streets back there. Um, so, 
sorry, just to interrupt myself. So you've got that like bridge there. Um, a bridge, well, a tunnel bridge, I suppose, yeah. So this is where we stopped in that video years ago. So I'm gonna walk down, sort of loop around. There's also a lake here too, where people go fishing. Uh, I wonder if anyone's fishing, we'll have to see. Uh, but it's currently about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, obviously, when I went to TK Maxx, I was about 10 o'clock. Um, I went home, I had to feed the cat and stuff. Um, there will be a little clip of the cat at some point, somewhere. I don't know when, might not be this vlog, might be the next. Um, but yeah, I've brought a spare battery pack for my phone. Um, because obviously I think this is 1080. Um, I can film in 4K, but... Um, it had just rinsed my battery. So most of the time there's dog walkers around here. So we're th this path will kind of lead on. So as the path sort of leads around, that'll take you into Pentwin um, by the leisure center. So we're going to take a left here now and follow this path. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like talk about different things all at the same time. I brought my bigger tripod because the little one, like when I go like this for a while, it does start to hurt. Um, and then I found myself doing this. So yeah, um, we're gonna go. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've played in these woods before too. There's like a little stream as well that goes down. So that little stream basically separates um, Penswin and Lan Eden. Um, I think uh, arguably you can say this is Lan Eden, this little lake. Uh, Penswin, sorry. You can arguably say that this little lake by here is Penswin, but. Um, some people say it's Lanard, some people say it's Pentwin. It's it's basically the border, so it doesn't matter. I heard a, a helicopter, a lot of police out today. Right, a lot of people out fishing, I think. So yeah, here is the lake. Uh, people fish here all the time. I never have. Um, I only went fishing maybe once or twice in my life. Um, didn't really not that I wasn't interested it's just when you're a kid you don't really think about it until someone takes you so yeah what do you think of the fit not too bad is it you know usually many people know me I just I wear all black um, it's a slimming colour um, but when I, when I went to get a pair of trainers and I didn't bother I ended up getting a white outfit instead hold it this way in case if I was filming them. Um, also another thing we're, we're fishing is uh, you have to have a lot of patience. Uh, I don't really have much of it to be fair. Um, you ask Halev, I don't really have a lot of patience when it comes down to the kiddos. Right, we're at the bottom of the hill now. So basically we would come from over there and we're gonna make our way up this ruling hill. I remember when I was a kid having to walk back and forth to school, up and down this hill. Oh my God, horrific. Oh, what's this? I've never noticed this here before. No path there, like. see? Shall we? Let's go and have a look. Crikey. Oh, God. It's quite low down to get in. Hold on. We're going in. Ah, 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 bubble stingies. Jesus. Ah, yeah. Ah, there we go. We're in. But yeah, never actually been in this woods, this part of the, the wooded area before. Uh, path kind of dies off a bit there. So path kind of leads around and it gets to like that area there and it kind of just stops so but i never know this was here that's pretty cool hmm shall we do a sniff no no mm. <laughs> i gotta try and get out you know oh god okay here we go <sighs> Oh, God. Oh, ow. Ah, oh, 
Christ. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, well, that was new. I just don't ever remember that being there. You know, as coming from probably I'd say the last generation of kids who go out and play, you know, go down the Astro, go on your bike rides, find a random word to disappear from your house like 10 hours, you know. You ever knew that was a... I remember flying down this hill on my bike because you could fly down, wrap around and you go over the bridge into Pentwin, wrap into the bike park, uh, the skate park even, and had my BMX and I flew down here, wrapped all the way around, over the bridge, say all full speed. And then uh, went on to the bit of jump. It was, oh, it was good. I'm not really too tired yet. I'm tired, you can probably hear me breathing heavily. But uh, I really should exercise more, but just to get your bikes to that little gap over there. Okay. So, half the pentamine is over there. I just see the houses the, with the white tops there. That's the street I used to live in many years ago. Um, one of the streets in Pentwin, anyway. Right, there is a way. I don't know if I've walked past it. There's a way you can kind of just walk straight through the middle of this housing estate. It takes you straight up to the Malfa. But I've also heard they've redone the Malfa, so look forward to uh, checking it out. When I, when I grew up yeah, years ago, like the Malfa was very run down. There was only like a few shops open in there. Um, there used to be a pub next to that got knocked down. But I'm not sure if they've rebuilt the pub or put houses. I can't remember. I think this might be the path. Don't stray from the path, Luke. I think this is it. Uh, I, don't know, it's been a while. I think so. So I used to walk along the other side there on my way up from school. This is new for me. I've, al I've always had this weird anxiety with walking around a place where I grew up with a camera and stuff. And on paper it's fine. But when you know a lot of people around you, it's, I don't know, I feel awkward sometimes, even though it's not, you know? Your brain plays terrible tricks on you. Uh, yeah, so that might be the way I'm on about this. So you go up by and left, but it's a little joint into one path, and it's just one big long path. And at the end, you can see like the the Malfa, you know, at the at the very end, tall thing. Like, and that's I'm making all of this up, but we'll see. Oh no! Oh, this used to be. Oh, I need to show you guys now. Hold on. This used to be a shop. I used to sell me my snacks here all the time. Just a bike ride down there too. Ah, no, look. Oh, wait, it's, it's an actual shop. Is it open? Oh yeah, it is open. Well, <laughs> that's awkward, isn't it? It is quite windy, so you can't hear me very well, but I thought that shop was closed. It looked really run down. I'm so sorry if the owner sees this. <laughs> it generally from behind, it looks like it's, it's been closed down, but I hope everything's going well there for you. So it's super windy, you probably can't hear me. But this is the long path I was telling you about with gates. And you see that all the way in the back? That's the Malfa. Uh, yeah. Pretty good, pretty cool. It's given me some weird memories walking back to school after like a really long day. Or like, we used to like two hours of like PE or games, like the last lessons of school. So you'd be like running around playing football or whatever, or rugby or whatever this we're doing. And then you gotta like walk all the way down here. That gigantic hill back there, you know, straight down. Then it's like down a hill, up a hill. Um, I wonder, we might be able to walk past my, my old house too. I don't want, I won't film it because people, 
we were living there, maybe you'd be like, who the hell is this random guy? Um, ah, look, right, so if you, you guys remember doing stuff, I guess, as you can see on our wall over there, they used to spray paint. Uh, someone would paint their goalposts. I don't know if you can see it very well. You probably can. Uh, used to paint your goals on like the side of a house or something and you play football. So good. So if you were like in a street, you'd have like someone's gates for their drive as, as the goals. And they were like this high, you know. Like, <laughs> and you'd be like, that there will be the goals. And then like their driveway onto the road, so like where the, the curb is, that would be the box. And then you play football in the road. <laughs> it was so strange. But those kind of memories you don't see anymore. Play, oh, actually playing Kirby as well. Just to throw it from curb to curb. Thing is, like, I talk about stuff, I guess, where I didn't really do too much of this at, at Manor, and it was mainly in Lamb Remedy, but I've done a lot of this. But, uh, actually, let me, hold on. Hold that thought. I know I can extend this tripod just a tad. It's not a lot of a bit better, my arm will rest a bit easier. Clouds don't look too good about me. It's like it's going to rain. It is very, there's a lot of cross winds walking down here, so I apologize for doing it. There used to be, oh, that's new. There's a new building, never seen it. There used to be a football pitch, like a concrete. This guy's blasting music by here. So if it's copyright, I'm just gonna stop recording and I'll pick up one. I get out of the way of them or they go a different way. I'm not having copyright on this. All right, I think I'm far enough away to not get the music, so there's not beds there. This is all new to me. Wow. So, lots of people blast the music. Hopefully it's not copyright, but you can see where the blue fences are there. That's the goals in the basketball. That's new, because that used to be up there where that building is. I don't know what that building is. It might be a hub. Oh man, I remember riding my bike down this hill, like all down the grass, and you like get the jump. Oh, there's like a little bank where you sort of like bounce off. I'm not sure how long this building's been here. So I used to live around the corner by here. Um, but I haven't lived down here since 2012, 2011, maybe even earlier. So yeah, we're talking like, I was in year 10 and 11, I think, when this was happening, so... Yeah, 2011, 2012, something like that. I remember I just got a hell of when I lived here. I think the, this is like the front of the house. I, can't, I think I was number 13, I think, I can't remember. I'll have a look. Yeah, I think it's a hub. So literally where that building is, there used to be that football court there. Oh my god, it's changed so much. Yeah, there's a hub. Wow. Mate, this is crazy. What? What happened? Wellbeing hub, Aunt Malfa. Mate. So, I live down by there. Did. This is mental. There's a police station here. Look at that. None of that used to be there. Let's take a walk down this road. Mate, my head's just blown off. I, wow. I mean, I don't think my mum comes up here often either, so hopefully she watches the video and she'll be just as surprised as I am how much has changed. There's a boxing gym there. Was that? No, I think that was there. I, I'm sure that was always there. Uh, I'm gonna walk down and I'll point to which one my house was. But I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna film the house because it's a bit unfair on the people who are living there now. I can't remember what number was it. I'll see now. I, th oh, I think I can see it. I think I can see it. Uh, it's now all the, I'm just gonna talk so I don't look dodgy. Uh, all these houses, like this is classed as the back, but you'd use as the main entrance, it's the one with the brown fence there. Like this is classed as the back, whereas the other side on the way past, this was that was the front. 
but it goes all the way down you loop round and you come back up this road because it's actually a dead end down there so i'm not going to walk down any further by here used to be landed in high school but they've merged it with um saint tylo's which is um around the corner somewhere but my sister actually went to that school. I stayed because I was doing my GCSEs when we moved to Lanedin. I stayed in Aramby so I could finish them and not go to a different school and learn a different teaching style. So, but um, yeah, my sister actually went there, and uh, my uncle also went to Lanedin. I thought they closed that down. Yeah, cool, mate. This is crazy. Like, if you are watching this and you grew up in Lanedin and you, know, you currently don't live in Lanedin anymore, you haven't for a while, let me know how crazy this is to you because it's been just over 10 years since I lived up here. And like, oh, look, mate, this is crazy. Look at this. So the Malfa, wow, okay. Oh my God, they've moved everything. This is crazy. So you can probably kind of see over there some shops, right? Where the actual mouth is, that used to be at the bottom, so all the shops used to surround the mouth like a little shopping centre. But now, look how nice it is over here. This is mental. The police station here as well. It was, it was quite uh, quite the area many years ago. But there is a nice Nisa there, or a nicer, so I'm going to go and get a drink. Uh, this has blown my mind. Oh, that, that powerhouse is still there. Powerhouse is still there. I'm not sure what that is there, unless it's attached to the hub, I don't know. These houses are amazing. I'm not going to film random people's houses, but you can kind of see them in the background. They look so good. So I'm going to run into the Nisa, grab a cold drink and then we'll sort of wrap round past the mouth and I'll go and see what everything else is looking like. There's the mouth I've never seen the bottom bit before. Because where I'm standing right now, this is where the shopping centre used to be. It was all inside. Crazy. So we've got Lisa there, opticians, Chinese takeaway there. Royal Dragon, I'll have to try that soon, boys. Malfa Fish Bar. They've actually kept that name, I love it. It's hot here, Salon. There too. Right, see you guys in a sec. Oh my god, it's super windy. Oh my god, my bloody. Right. Oh, got myself a little white bean and light, because you know, lots of sugars. Also got some bite sized chicken rolls and a chicken and ham slice. And I can't really set the tripod up anyway, so you can watch me eat. set the tripod up anyway for you to him, so I'm gonna stop this, eat some of that, have a drink, and we'll pick up in a sack of it should be a few minutes. Well it'll be an instant few minutes. <coughs> right. So I've I've had my slice, a couple of sauce straws and a drink. There's a shop there too. This is all mental to me, mate. All right, sorry about that. I ran out of space. Um, anyway, yeah, so the old pub is still here. I just don't know what they're doing with it, yeah? Um, we're gonna cross over. 
Yeah. I'm not sure what they plan on doing with that pub. It'll be quite interesting to see over the course of the next. I don't mean, I don't know. That's been closed for a while though. It wasn't really doing, it was doing okay when I, when I, you know, when I used to live here. But we're gonna go, so, got the mouth of here, cross the road to here, and we're gonna go up here and have a look. Um, I, I never used to venture this way. There was no, at the time there was nothing really here, so we're gonna see. I think there, there was a shop, like the, the hut one that we seen, that I thought was run down. I think there's one up here somewhere, I think. Don't quote me though, because I don't think there is. I'm th I might be thinking of Pentwin. <clears throat> Gosh, which one I've like? Shall we? Never been here either. Excuse me, Bosch. Excuse me. This would be a cool little bike trail back in the day. <clears throat> I don't actually know what this is going to take me. Probably on the other side of the house and estate. Uh, have a one. I, I was walking behind this woman. And I actually, like, looked back and I was like, hello. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd have to just turn out the way so it doesn't look like I'm following her. Oh God, stingies! Hey, mate. Uh, oh God. Oh God, I'm gonna use you guys. Oh Christ! Uh, oh, fucking raw in this forest. Oh, and break. Whoa, that's a fucking tree stump come out of the ground. Crazy. <clears throat> fucking. There's flies everywhere. Oh my God. Uh, okay, I hope I can get out this way, because if I don't, it's going to be a very long and grueling battle. Ah, God, Jesus. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. So way out. I'm going to get battered by thingies on the way out here and all. Hello. Oh. As long as it's not the bubble ones, because they itch. Oh, my God, right in front of my face. The other stingies, I don't mind. Right. This way. So as I said, when I was a kid, I used to live here. I never, I never really ventured up this bit. Um, there's no need to, really. More housing areas. I think the only time I like drove up here, I had to like pick something up off like one of Hell's family, I think. It's quite overgrown here. Hmm? Oh, that's a bit more open, look at that. That's cool. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure if that's someone's garden up there. Just gonna have a look. I'm not sure if a path wraps around or not. Yeah, that's someone's house. When I parked the car, where I did, I had a notification on my phone saying, car parked, we've saved the location of your car. Oh, that was pretty cool. But, uh, oh God, oh, arms are in a bit. Oh, there's a shop here too. I knew there was a shop. It wasn't, I don't know that I thought it was. Yeah, I know it goes further up here. But I'll have a look, but I don't remember anything being up here. So I didn't bother coming up here as a kid because I don't think there was anything here. Right. I'm lost that way. I don't think I've ever been this way where the barking dog is. So we'll have a walk up, we'll see. If not, we'll head back down that way. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to get used to the, the camera, like when I point at things, trying to, like that car. Like, you know? I reckon I 
recognise this area up here. driven past it like you know so the road wraps around now oh ain't this nice uh, some quality time with just me And there's the main road I was telling you about. I hope my camera works been a lot better this time. All right, what I was trying to explain here is that there's nothing past this point. So there's like a university ground somewhere here. I don't know if it's down there, it might be right by here. But it, like, when you go down this way, When you go down this way, it'll take you down past the mouth to a roundabout. Then you turn right and you go up towards Albany Road. But that way, that wraps around back to my car, essentially. So we saw a bit the, the, the end bit of like land heading, if that makes sense. Oh, this is quite nice. Um, I think like today, I feel good in myself today. Like some days I do wake up really. Um, I don't know, really anxiety ridden, you know, if that makes sense. And I thought of people like, there's a woman walking behind me, and there's a woman in front, cars driving past. I thought of doing this then, I don't know if I could. But I woke up today, I felt pretty good. I, you know, and it's all about feeling good in yourself. Yeah, I think that is the university grounds in there. Uh, is that gated off? I'm not gonna have a look. We're gonna have a look. I have a nose. I'm not sure if it is, it might be. Um, the uni though. I mean, we're not breaking and entering because obviously the lock is open and there's no, it's not blocking all the way. That's locked up, I'm not gonna get over that. I'm not gonna jump in. There's a way down through there, but that looks quite, it looks like it gets quite steep, but I'm pretty sure I'm sure this is the uni grounds. I don't know. Oh, cool. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to hop over the fence. Um, I don't want to do anything illegal. Oh! He's fucking fuck off. That's, that's that. Slow down. It's a 30 here. What if you hit me? No. As of recording this video as well, we have 4,000 subscribers yesterday. And that was during our special live stream with me, Craig Sona and Micah. Um, Hold on. Shall we? <laughs> no joking. That like goes down there too. Oh, it's been quite nice actually. Very therapeutic. Right, what I'm gonna do to save some space on the phone and unless anything happens, I'll pick up with you guys when I get back by the mouth phone, we'll walk a different way. Uh, so I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Right, I just made it back to the mouth. Uh, we're gonna go straight down. I came from over there, we're gonna go straight down. Um, I don't know where I was pointing the camera, I don't even know where you, you know where we're going. Uh, oh, it's not like a mouth sign up there. I wonder if we can get like a thumbnail there. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail. I'll go up by here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can't even see that perfectly there. Version. Thumbnail. Eh. Done. Right then, that's the thumbnail done. Couldn't quite get them off the sign in without my face being down here. Um, and obviously, if I was further away, but I don't think I can get it anywhere else. Oh, I my arm's tired. <laughs> Just kidding me. I don't know if I can hold it for so long upwards. So I think my tripod, my little handheld one I've got, is bigger than the one he's got. But he somehow keeps it up here, yeah, I guess. It's, uh, it's okay, I have to keep maybe bringing it down now and again so you can kind of see me, but... So yeah, now we're on the other side. So there's the powerhouse and stuff over there. That's where I used to live, our street there. Um, so now we're walking this way. That'll take me right back up to my car now. And we'll probably end the vlog there, I think. It's been, um, it's been quite refreshing, actually, because usually, um, usually I don't do this, but this is nice because, thanks, Bess. Um, I don't know, I feel, like I said, I feel good. Um, and getting, getting together with Mike and, and, and his family and Craig and Shona and their kiddos and stuff and bringing my tribe along as well, you know, it was, it was nice. Um, I don't know, it just made me, and we had 4,000 subscribers yesterday, which is crazy. And I was just more motivated than ever. And, uh, and me and Mike, we met up to do the Shark Bites video, which I, I hope you all enjoyed. It was really good. Tasty burgers. We got recognised in Pill. And it was, it was, I thought it was weird to me. Because I, I, I'm not from Newport. Um, I, I personally believe, obviously, they recognised Mike more than they did me. Um, but we had a selfie with them, which is cool. Um, I'm not sure if they're putting it on the social so we can see. But, uh, yeah, it's just surreal. To, like, all of, all of those things that have happened over the last few days have just kicked me back into gear, like, you know. Look at this. Yeah, that's cool. It's got Flintstone stuff in there. Oh, mate, look at that. Look how cool that looks. That's awesome. I'm assuming this is the tag here, I think. But if I'm wrong, I apologise, but whoever did this, it looks incredible. Oh my god, glass on the floor. <laughs> We're pretty much around the corner from the car now. Oh, that's cool, look at that. It's like a purple house. Oh, that's cool. Purple is my favourite colour. I like purple. I like a nice dark purple, you know? Because my soul is dark. I have to get bread on the way home, says Helev. I can do that. But I'm very grateful to Mike, and I do want to, I want to take some of the workload off Mike too. Um, I know he enjoys the editing, but let's be honest, the day he kind of burns himself out uh, is the day it will slow down because my editing skills are not too bad. Um, over time, it will get better. I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm quite, I require basic knowledge with editing and how to cut things correctly. Um, but I wouldn't be able to pump out videos like near enough every day like he does uh, i think the problem i have when i when i edit is i try too hard like i try and put too much on it you know and i'll probably do it with this um because i know most say don't mind editing it but i want to try and give him a break from doing my stuff and i'll do my stuff and and he can he can do his and craig and shona's and ricky's someone called me then do you want to have it out then or what? <laughs> Are you joking? But here we are. <coughs> Back of the hill, look. And there's no better time to end the vlog. I was going to say where we started, but we never. We started in my car. Uh, 
Oh, hello, there's the lake down there. Hello. All right, we're back in the car. Um, right, yeah, so that is the end of the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, it was a, a different kind of setting for me. Um, with no set goal in mind, whereas usually my vlogs are like something happening like, I don't know, oh, we're going here, you know? Or it's like, we're going here to do this, to get this. Whereas this vlog was, apart from, you know, what well, I was supposed to be getting a pair of trainers, which I didn't even end up getting, is I go into Lan Eden and I'm going to just wander around and go to areas I used to go to as a kid and just see how different it is. And, and it was. And I, the Malfa absolutely blew my mind because I, I I don't drive up here anymore. Like, not pa not directly past the Malfa anyway. Like, I'll wrap around or I'll come down this way. But even then, I'll go down the A48 to go to Pentwin to see my mum. So I don't I don't really stop in anymore. And it was nice to, you know, try to see Mike do like ring. Like, we've done the ring one one, you know, and he's been to all these places um, in Newport. Um, and I know how much that means to people to see area like because like for example my mate Liam right he, he lives in the states and you know he used to come over here and call for me and we play and we go down and, uh, and, and go to the, the, the leisure center and go swimming and stuff and for people like that who don't live in the same you know city or area of the city or even the country you know and I think it'd be nice for people to see like where they used to where they grew up and how different it is because I can guarantee there's probably people who lived in Ireland like 20 30 years ago who to them has changed so much they can't even recognise it. Whereas for me, I still kind of recognise it, but it's just different now because it's been re remodelled and stuff. Um, but yeah, crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys, and uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this vlog. It's one of the first ones I've done where I kind of just wander around. So a bit of feedback would be lovely. Um, and let me know where, how you came across the video because we get some analytics and stuff and we get people coming from external ways or we get people searching for the like let me know how you come across this video like did you find it through our facebook page or was it on like a recommendation or an advert somewhere or I just yeah it'd be interesting to see where the views have come from you don't have to but it, it would be interesting to see where you've come from on social socially um to, to get to the video so and if you've made it this far thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. We might do Pentwin. I don't know. We're going to save Lamb Rumney. I think me, Mike, and Craig, might, I think we were talking about doing a Lamb Rumney one before. So we might leave that till we're all together to do because it'd be nice to talk about our different experiences as, a, as kids and and what we got up to and mischief. But yeah. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care and goodbye. Mm, I'll copy you, Mike. Uh,